What's going on, moviegoers? If you're new to the channel, my name is Christian. Welcome to Sea World Productions. We finally have that spawn update from Todd McFarlane. He teased an update on Monday for Tuesday, but they delayed the update, stating that it would come on Wednesday as of today, you guys. Now, he's saying this was a huge, huge update on the film. This film has been in the early works forever now, attached with Jamie Foxx, Jeremy Renner, and nothing has gotten off the ground. But apparently, The Hollywood Reporter came out with an interesting article stating that this film has found some writers, which is kind of confusing to me because I thought the script was already written and they were just pitching the studios to get it off the ground. But if they're completely going with a different set of writers other than Todd McFarlane, we might just be in good hands. Because from what I heard from that first script, it wasn't the greatest. And they get, the two people they got to write this film, oh boy, oh boy, this lets my mind at ease. Let's dive deep into this Hollywood Reporter article, shall we? Spawn finds new writers with Joker and Captain America 4. Todd Silver, Malcolm Spellman, and rising screenwriter Matthew Mixon are penning a new script for the film, which is still has Jamie Foxx attached. Blumhouse Spawn movie is getting a new jolt of creative energy, with the film based on Todd McFarlane's comic book character adding a trio of writers. Joker Scott Silver, Falcon and the Winter Soldier's Malcolm Spellman, and the rising scribe Matthew Mixon are teaming up on a new script of future which has been in development at Blumhouse since 2017. Jamie Foxx remained attached to star the anti-hero, who was who was first introduced in the comics in 1992 with McFarlane among the films and producers. McFarlane had been eyeing the director's chair and wrote a previous draft of the script, but the comic book writer and artist acknowledges he may not be the right person to direct. Thank God. <laughs> and particularly now, some of the highest profile writers in the comic book movie space are involved. Look, Joker was phenomenal. Joker's great. Joker won a lot of Oscars. Joaquin Phoenix won Best Actor. We are in good hands. Malcolm Spellman, the Falcon of the Winter Soldier, was astonishing. One of my favorite Marvel series on Disney+. Now he's going to be writing Captain America 4. We are in good hands. We are in good hands for the script for this Spawn film, you guys. This is so exciting. Continuing on. If we got an A-list actor... A-list producers, A-list writers, then do you want to shoot for an A-list director? A-list cinematographers, McFarlane tells The Hollywood Reporter. The answer is, of course. Let's keep the momentum going. So he realizes that he has these star-studded, talented people attached to this film. Not only behind the scene, but in front of the scene. I think he realizes, okay, I'm going to take a step back. Maybe this is the only way I can get this film actually made is me by having by having me less involved in the script and producing and directing. But who can they get to direct this film? That is what I'm really, really interested in. Spellman notes that Spawn holds a special place for him. I grew up in Berkeley, which is a comic book city. Todd McFarlane's Spawn character was always one of my favorites. A black superhero that was no bullshit. He was so cool and dealt with modern issues, says Spellman in a statement. Myself, Matt Mixon, and Scott Silver are pledged of honoring what Todd started and what Spawn is at its core, delivering something that's relevant and edgy and unlike any superhero out there. I like that. I like that a lot. Not only do you have fantastic writers, but you will have fantastic writers who love and appreciate comic books and the source material. Malcolm Spellman is a very talented director, I mean, sorry, writer. Very. Just go watch Falcon and the Winter Soldier, you guys. It is so well written. So the social political issues that, uh, that that show deals with, with Black Captain America, it's so good. Yes, you guys, it's so good. I am beyond ecstatic now about for, you know, for this film and script. We are going to get a banger of a movie, and I'm so happy for Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx has been wanting to do this forever, but it's just, 
you know, where they really couldn't get this off the ground. And I'm happy that Todd McFarlane kind of, you know, sat back and like realized, look, I need to take a step back and I need to let Hollywood do its thing. There are way more talented writers than me out there, especially for a future film. Writing comic books and a film are two different things. Two different things. And we are in good hands with this script. Now it's all about finding, you know, the director of this film. Don't know who's going to direct it. I'm pretty sure they have people to mind. Oh, man, can you imagine Del Toro? Ho, 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 ho. That would be good. But I'm pretty sure Del Toro would want a little bit of, you know, reassurance in the script. I'm pretty sure he would want a little bit of creative control. And I feel like you would have to give that to Del Toro. Um, Jordan Peele would probably be a fantastic director. There's so many great people out there who would do a phenomenal job directing this Spawn movie. So many great people. I just hope that they're able to really, really ink in a good script. And that will literally, like, have directors running towards your film. Be like, oh, give this to us, give this to us. Because at the end of the day, Spawn hasn't been done in years. Long time, you guys. It's been a long time since Michael Jai White. Hey, they can really do it. I'm pretty sure Jamie Foxx can deliver a stellar performance. Jamie Foxx is one of the most extremely talented people we have in Hollywood right now. Uh, so him as Al Simmons will definitely be good. I just hope it's really dark. I hope it's really gritty. I hope they just really go for it. I mean, we are in the comic book world of filmmaking now. And Spawn is something so unique and so different from what we've seen. It's different from Black Adam. It's different from Wakanda Forever. It's just so tonally different from what we're getting. And I think that we can really benefit from a Spawn film in, you know, 2024, 2025, or whatever this film decides to get made. Well, hopefully they give us a little bit more updates about who's directing, you know, and when they start production, because this is very exciting. So post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about the Spawn movie finally moving forward. Finally fighting two writers for the film. That being Malcolm Spellman and Scott Silver. Thoughts and opinions, you guys, please post your comments down below and let me know what you guys think. Peace.